you say Yes, it's that time again It's Tech Tuesday Hey, hey, and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. This is Chad from Ascension Worship. Sorry, it's been a few weeks since I've uh, done any new content. I've had to deal with a couple of uh, sicknesses and uh, allergies and all that fun stuff. And so finally we're back, and I've got a really cool free resource for you. This is a PDF that we made for a local school and local church that have a combined lighting rig. We needed to make some training materials for... Uh, the school, and um, considering their teachers, I figured they would respond well to a handout. So we made a, a PDF with a bunch of information to kind of reinforce the training we've done. Um, it's a little bit specific to how we lay things out and how we set up their school, but I figured it would still be really useful for any of you guys out there. Uh, so again, uh, Camsys Magic Q is a free lighting program. Um, it is very powerful. Uh, it is cross-platform. It's just really good. But like most lighting programs, it's kind of difficult to get into. Um, so we've tried to kind of use our, our knowledge and experience to make the simplest uh, starting point possible for you. Um, so we've got this really good pretty thorough PDF uh, covers, you know, once you have your lights patched, which you can go find out how to do that in some of our previous videos, kind of how to get around Magic Q, um, what some of the different menus are, uh, and some basic things like how to how to set up your first, uh, you know, cues that you want to record. So uh, I want to give you that. You can find that in the uh, description of this video, uh, along with a cup, uh, a couple of files. So there's a scene file uh, or a show file, as they call it in uh, Magic Q world, and there's a settings file. So one thing you'll notice right away, uh, I talk a lot about layout one, layout one, lots of fun. That's this button up here in the top left hand corner um, that if you get lost and you don't know what all you're clicking on and things are getting a little bit intense, uh, you can go back to the top left hand corner, click on layout one, and you're back to your starting position. Uh, so one thing I want to do to kind of help you guys get going right away is um, kind of have that set to where you can add that in. There's two ways you can do that. If you're starting from scratch, you can make a, uh, a new show based off of the show file that we've given you. Uh, or if you already have an existing show, then you can go through and just open up um, those settings onto your show. So I'm going to show you how to do that and then, uh, and then hand off these free resources for you. So if you've opened up Magic Q and let's say you're starting from scratch, you want to load a show. Um, first thing you do is, and this is the most recent version of Magic Q we're on here. We're going to go up to File. And then this is a really nice feature that they've added on here is the Open Show Folder. Um, so Magic Q, if you're not familiar, is made to be uh, the inner workings of a uh, Camsys console. Um, so the software has a couple weird things where it doesn't quite match up with the computer world. But this kind of fixes that for you. So it'll take you to the folder where you need to have these settings. So you can see I've actually already loaded in the AW Starter Show and then the AW Settings settings. <laughs> um, so I've dropped those into this folder. This is how you get there. Again, those are free in the link um, in the description. So I've loaded those in there. And then from Magic Q, you can go to File, Open, or Load Show. In this case, uh, case we're going to click on the AW Starter. And then that will give you the settings that are very similar to what's in the PDF. If you already have your own show going and you just want to have um, this layout um, the way we've got set, and there's a few other settings that are pretty useful that are mentioned in the, uh, the PDF, then you can go to File, Import Settings, and again, you're going to import the AW settings, and that will give you all that. So once you have that, then everything in the PDF should make a little bit more sense. If you aren't using those settings, it's not the end of the world. Still about 95% of this is all going to match up for you. Um, and again, you can find all this in the link in the description uh, to all those free resources. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Um, I want to do more videos to kind of cover these individual sections, but I need to see from you guys that you're interested. 
Uh, I know the majority of what we've done on Tech Tuesday that's been really popular has been audio, uh, and I'm going to go back to do some more audio stuff soon. Um, but I do think that this is really important, and there's a lot of churches that don't realize just how cheap and easy it is to get into nice lighting in your church now. And this is one way to do that and kind of simplify it for your volunteers. So I hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any questions or want me to focus on anything in particular for the future, again, please leave a comment below. Um, we want to help you out, make this a good resource for you. So until next time, have a great week. Again, this is Chad from Ascension Worship. I hope this has been helpful for you and your team. Come back here every Tuesday for new information.